Well, hey everybody, Road Trip Dave here coming at you from the Wasatch Mountains in Utah. We're here at Snowbird. First of all, we're staying at the Cliffs Lodge. We'll take a tour of the Cliffs Lodge, show you all around the hotel and resort. We'll also show you some pretty amazing pictures around here in the Wasatch Mountains just outside of Salt Lake City. So, let's see it. Dave's Road is you know the drill. Please choke slam the like button for this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and also check out all of my social media links in the description below. The Cliff Lodge and Spa is actually part of a larger complex that's around the Snowbird Ski Resort area. It is about a 40 minute drive from Salt Lake City International Airport and as you can see, even during the skiing off season, the mountain views are spectacular. One of the first interesting things about this hotel is that it is truly built into the side of a mountain. And in order to check in at the lobby, you have to drive your car through that tunnel right there. This hotel is actually one of the more well-known ski lodges in North America, with having direct access to the many ski lifts that can take you on their award-winning slopes. What blew me away is how on the outside, it is a very unassuming building. And if you just took the building away from its location, it looks kind of ordinary. But the design of the hotel truly enhances the natural beauty around it. And from the inside, you have some amazing vantage points of the Wasatch Mountain Range. During the skiing off-season, the hotel had quite a bit of construction going on around it as the snow and cold conditions would make renovations a lot more difficult. They usually finish construction before the ski season, which starts around early December. Here is what the other side of the hotel looks like as you walk toward the tram, which takes you to the summit. Notice the walkways that skiers can use to get to other lifts. All right, now that we've seen the outside of, the, of this resort, let's check out the inside. Lots of places to see, lots of things to do here. And what's even funnier is that because it's built into a mountain, it's a little bit of a maze. <laughs> so let's see what we can check out. This is the main entrance of the hotel from the entrance tunnel I showed you earlier. The hotel recently underwent a multi-million dollar renovation. So the decor is very contemporary and modern with hints of Western rustic style. The bellhop and ballet desk is on the right, but you have to ride up the escalator to the actual check-in desk. You will find that when you get to the top of the escalator, there are many different hotel amenities on the same floor as the check-in desk, such as different meeting rooms and the hotel's main souvenir shop, which we can check out a little later. Right across from a few medium-sized meeting rooms is the Cliff Sundries, which features a large variety of souvenirs, including t-shirts, water bottles, and caps. The store also provides snacks, drinks, candy, and alcoholic beverages, as well as sunscreen, lip balm, and even smartphone charge cords. Oh yeah, 
And don't forget refrigerator magnets. One of the very impressive amenities of the Cliff Lodge and Spa Resort is the large variety of restaurants. If you take the stairs from the lobby and meeting room floor, you enter the Atrium, which is a full-service restaurant that also features a grab-and-go counter service desk. For breakfast, you have the option of eating from the buffet or an entree made to order from their menu. Lunch is served strictly made to order, but regardless of when you eat here, you can still take in the amazing mountain views from the restaurant's 11-story windows. Look at the view from the balcony. Yes, Walt Disney World fans, I'm sure there is a hotel resort that you may be reminded of here. Leave a comment below and tell me which Disney World hotel this large, expansive atrium resembles. Next, we are going to the ninth floor to check out the Cliff Lodge's incredible spa. The spa has a wide range of treatments and packages, which are an additional charge, but after a long day of hiking or skiing, this is a great way to nurse those sore muscles. Here's the check-in desk for the spa. Here is the fitness center, which is primarily accessed by taking the stairs seen here, which lead down to the spa and locker room areas. As I said before, almost every window in the hotel just shows off the beautiful Wasatch mountain range, and the fitness center is no exception. In comparison to most resort hotels, this fitness center has everything you can possibly need for a great workout, including treadmills, elliptical machines, weight machines, free weights, and stationary bikes. Well, here we are on the 10th floor, and here they have a rooftop pool and hot tub. Now, the only problem is that if you want to use the hot tub and pool on the 10th floor, you need to pay a, a fee for the spa. This is actually affiliated with the spa. Guess what, my roadies? Here is a little Dave's rest stop within the hotel tour. Let's just take in the quiet, serene atmosphere of the rooftop pool. Also on the 10th floor is the Airy, which is an elegant restaurant that is very well known for its modern American gastro pub cuisine and its selection of wines. It is normally not open for lunch, but it can serve it for meetings and conventions in the hotel. It has its own dinner menu, dessert menu, wine menu, drink menu, and even a late night menu. This is definitely a place where you can dress up and have a drink at the bar, then dine on some amazing dishes. The link for the restaurant where you can find the menus is in the description below, so be sure to check it out. Why don't we check out my room? You'll notice that while the lodge is contemporary in nature, it is also no frills when it comes to the concrete walls. The reason that the hallways look like a concrete bunker? Remember, 
the cliff is a ski lodge. The concrete walls minimize any damage or impact to the hotel as guests carry their skis, poles, and boots. Different rooms have one king bed or two queen bed setups. My room was clean, comfortable, and roomy. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. The hotel actually has its own shampoo, soap, and conditioner, which are also part of the spa. So there is a hint of refinement when getting clean, if you will. Each room comes equipped with a nice sized closet and inside are the iron and ironing board and even a humidifier as the mountain air is considerably dry, especially during the winter time and the heat is consistently running. Of course, there is room to place your suitcase, coat rack, a decent sized desk for business and a flat screen TV. Wi-Fi service is complimentary, but the cliff does not go out of its way to let you know how to access it, so be sure to ask when you check in. There are extra drawers for clothes if you want to settle in. And yet again, while we're at the window, check out the view from my room and I'm not even on a higher floor. You can definitely sleep four sizable people in this room, and you can request for an extra cot or air mattress if you have five people. Another added benefit to this hotel room is the Keurig coffee maker, which is really handy. Underneath that is a little refrigerator and ice box. Then to the right, still within the TV stand, is the safe, which you can lock by using your own key code. This is the view from my floor's elevator lobby, where you can see another hotel pool on the fifth floor, and it also has a hot tub. All this does look cool, but we get to do something even better. All right, my roadies, now we're gonna take a trip on the gondola. We're heading down this trail right here. It's a large gondola, and it will take us up to 11,000 feet at the summit. So let's go. There's the gondola station right there. Now it doesn't look like it, but from there, the gondola goes up a large peak, but there's several other hills we have to go over. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. Snowbirds Resort is surprisingly huge. So while you think you're just going to a gondola or tram station, you'll find it packed with two restaurants, two bars, a general store, and another souvenir shop that has a pretty substantial selection of gifts and sundries.
Well, here we are at the top of the summit. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Cliff Lodge and Spa Resort, as well as the tram ride. I highly recommend coming here any time of the year to enjoy a truly unique and awe-inspiring hotel. More videos and road trips are coming your way soon. Until then, my roadies, laters.